what do you think censorship has cost in Nigeria? Well, this video is not for the people that can afford um, 500 to 1000 naira monthly, but for those medium class citizens that cannot afford that. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am Susu Abdul, and on this video today, I'm going to take you out for we are going to um, embark on a campaign against high cost of energy parts in Nigeria. Stick and watch to the end of this video because I'm going to take you out and we are going to find out um, uh, how much century parts cost in Nigeria and what people do. Do you know that period poverty is real? Do you know that a lot of women and ladies go through period poverty in Nigeria? Menstruation is an integral part of every woman's and girl's life. Um, it is fundamental to their basic hygiene and well-being. Period poverty is an extension of widespread poverty in Nigeria, with over 40% of people living in poverty, which amounted to 83 million people, according to statistics. According to Action Aid, Period poverty occurs to women and ladies that have no access to safe and hygienic sanitary products and or who are unable to manage their periods with dignity according to stigma and discrimination. Many women have no access to um, hygienic menstrual products which, um, which force them to use woods, clothes, rags, leaves, wools um, as their menstrual products. And this triggers me to make this video because I was living in a remote area. I was living in the outskirts of the city near the IDP camp. And I used to see how those women, they don't care about century parts. They, they would just use um, uh, wool or, or, or rags. And if, you talk, uh, and if you talk to them about the century part, they'll say they don't have the money to afford it. It's almost 500 to 1,000 naira because I will even, I'll even go with you to see the price. And serious, this thing is really alarming because it can lead to infection to the female reproductive system. On average, women are on their period for almost five to nine days, and these century parts are they used to come eight in a pack or or ten in a pack. It depends on the pack you buy. And this century part cannot cannot satisfy a woman that has a high flow, so she will need two packets or three packets many women are strongly affected so the question is if most of the primary health care can give free condoms why is sanitary parts not free ask yourself that why sanitary parts is necessary but we need free sanitary parts or they reduce the cost of the sanitary parts First of all, you are highly welcome. My name is Ajay I'm a Kinta health worker working in the Loraidi Vicam Camp Clinic. Mm, yes, camp is very costly. Although in uh, uh, this camp, uh, the organizations are used to provide them with sanitary fats. As most of the time, they used to provide sanitary, washable sanitary fats, and we are doing sensitization in the community, uh, awareness to uh, aware them on how to use the washable parts and how to keep it in good hygiene. You know, um, no, because even if they come for delivery, if we are going to provide them with delivery kit uh, and the rest. But when they are coming with uh, with their this material, they used to come with their old clothes. So they are using old clothes. But even in the cleaning, way, if they come for the cleaning, we are doing health so on personal hygiene and environmental hygiene and dress. So they are using um, clothes. Yes, yes, um, cotton clothes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, was so yeah, I'm adding part in now. Who na yes, yeah, yeah, don't cut na yes, yeah, imba kaoba. Ah, inada musamu. Don't cut yes, na bamu. 
yang kunci ada senak kamera nak ada senyal mereka yang zaman yang kunci aku ko sabulu mak ko sabulu dah zaman kunci cikir mak aku masa mau beri one one part saya ada hari ni apa he cek kunci gua tu mak tu mak yang awal ini tu cek kunci nak kai. Ya wah, sih ya. Now go ni, guys. I'm in the I'm at the provision store and I meet this young lady or this lady and I want her to say something. Just just say anything. What can you say about the high cost of? How much is this one? Six hundred. Okay, five hundred. Mall pad. Mall pad. Four fifty. This one. Four hundred. This one. Six hundred. Wow. This one. One five. Hi guys. My name is Amira. Um, a friend of mine just drew my attention to speak about the high cost of sanitary pad here in Nigeria. Most we women see our menstrual cycle at the age of 13, and which when it started, it has no stop. Like it will stay for many years before it stops. Because menopause usually happens to occur at the age of 45. That's sometimes because it varies from different women at the age of 45 to 50 and sometimes above so during that menstrual cycle a woman is supposed to use um, sanitary pads for a best hygiene during that period but the prices of sanitary pads has rise in such a way that few women some women cannot let me say some women cannot afford to buy that sanitary pad which that that's the cheapest one compared to those the different qualities and everything you you can even buy a century part of one thousand or more so there are so many women who cannot afford to buy that century part more exa like example like those in the idp hi speaking of this topic high cost of sanitary part the last time I bought some three pad for 200 naira was 2016-17. I can't remember, but around that time. And as of last week, it is 400 naira. The cheapest sunny three pad is 400 naira now. Could you imagine? We don't even know what will happen until the, the end of this year. As a young lady, one of my dreams is to see all girls have access to good menstrual products. But with the look of things, women and girls find it hard which leads to us finding any available rack at home and using it as a pad, which is definitely a poor menstrual hygiene. We need to speak up. We say no to high cost of sanitary pad. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share. Please share this aggressively. Yes. Bye. See you in my next video.